Hello again. Today we're going to talk about the uh, Mini Portable Espresso Maker by Kalip. Uh, it comes in a nice little box. This is the item. Comes neatly packaged. When we first got this, I figured it was going to be a really good item. I like to drink coffee, so depending on how I feel, sometimes I want espresso, sometimes I want regular coffee. So my wife got me this since we don't have an actual espresso maker to try it out. So here's a review. Comes with two little bands here, so you can change it between, I guess, boy, girl, depending on how you feel, I guess. Comes with a little instruction manual and a storage case or a travel case. Now, let's go over the parts of the unit. I'm gonna open the manual so I can reference to it a little bit and show you what they are. Here you have your measuring cup. This is your actual cup. This one is your water tank. Two more pieces. You have your little filter and your Auscos, they call it, I have no idea. It's basically another piece for the maker. I'm gonna go ahead, I already have, the only bad thing about this that I see is that it, it's not heated water. You have to heat up the water prior to making the coffee. So we already went ahead and got the hot water and I already have my coffee ready. So usually they tell you you're supposed to go ahead and pre-measure I'm just going to go, we had already pre-measured, so we're just going to go ahead and add the coffee to the coffee, to the filter here. Of course, you add it to your taste. So there's a the coffee. You set it down, get this piece, put it on top of there, and tight. All righty. That's your water tank. There's a little mark. I don't know if you can see it in there, but it says to fill right there. Right by where my finger said, there's a fill mark. Can you get it? Okay. So take my word for it. There's a fill mark right there. I'm gonna go ahead and fill it up all the way to that point with hot boiling water. There we go. Doesn't make much, believe you. Believe you me. Here we go, we attach the water tank. There's a cup. You turn the unit upside down and then you release the pump and you pump. Now, the thing about this unit is that the coffee comes out good, but I don't like it so much for the simple reason that it seems like it's messy and you will see. You know when the when the water's done with the co with the coffee because the pump gets nice and loose, so you just keep pumping until it's loose like it is now. All right, so I just close it up, let it drip, 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 drip. And I can stand here all day because it's gonna keep on dripping. Here, I'm gonna flip it upside down here. Okay, there's a coffee, it actually makes a foam, but here's a part that I don't like. See what I, I said about it keeps on dripping? There it is, see? It keeps on coming out, and when it comes to the actual coffee grinds, you would think that they would come out dry or something, or semi-dry, or I'm going to show you how they end up. Take this apart. See, it ends up like a messy goo. All moist, it's all moist. I mean, it's not dry at all. So that's how it ends up in here. The quality of the coffee, to me, I like it. I like my uh, espresso black. Sometimes I put a little bit of uh, sugar in there, but the taste is just good. Depends on the flavor that you like. You can make whichever flavor you want. Like I said, 
this is the part that I don't like. This how uh, it stays moist, and the fact that it just keeps on dripping and dripping and dripping and dripping. I mean, it's not basically efficient to me in the sense that the, as much as you pump, you should be able to express most of the water out of there. And once you stop pumping, it should have like a little valve to close it off. For this item, we paid $3. Huh? $39. Sorry, $39. I'm being corrected here. <laughs> $39. Okay, that's the price of the item. Now, uh, like I said, besides that, all the water is gone pretty much. So a little bit left. Little, little, little bit left here. See, a little bit left. And then the cleanup is real simple. You know, you just got to wash it all out and then just put it back together to store it. They claim it's good for when you're camping and stuff like that. Since you don't have to carry an electric espresso maker, you just have to heat up the water and stuff like that. But, you know, personally, I think it's okay. It's not the greatest device. I mean, I don't, I don't even think that I would take this camping, to be honest with you. But that's what it is. So I hope you like this little video. Uh, I hope I covered everything that needs to be covered about this little espresso maker, you know. And uh, if you like our video, please give us a, a thumbs up and always keep us in mind because we will be posting other videos. Thank you very much.